In the previous video we have created meshes for our corridors and for our rooms. In this episode we will surround it all with walls. So let's go to the dungeon creator. Okay. Here we want to slide up and create some variables. Mainly we want to have a game object that represents wall with vertical and wall horizontal. So let's create those. Game object wall vertical and wall horizontal. Another thing we need is four lists of vector three ins. And first one will be called possible door vertical position. Okay. Next one will be the same list of vector three int and possible door horizontal position. Next will be again list vector three int possible horizontal wall position or possible wall horizontal position. And last will be possible wall vertical position. Now let's copy the names since we want to instantiate each and every of those lists. So we will do it between the for loop and after the receiving of a list of rooms. So let's instantiate those variables. Okay. And now we also want to create a game object called wall parent since there will be multiple walls new game object wall parent okay and let's place wall parent uh, in our transform so make our transform its parent so wall parent transform uh, transform dot parent equal transform okay and we want to pass our wall parent to our create mesh. So wall parent in the uh, create mesh definition will take game object wall parent. Okay. And let's slide it down a bit. So we will loop through each of the wall at the bottom and top, right and left, and create walls there. So four. And we need int row equals uh, from int bottom left v dot x up until row again int so we need to cast it and bottom right v dot x row plus plus and we will call var wall position equals new vector three. And we want to pass row zero as y and bottom left v dot z as z position. And we will call add wall position to list. And we will pass wall position possible wall horizontal position and possible door horizontal position. Okay, let's create this method. Generate. And here we will simply call a vector three int point equals vector three int tail to int wall position. And if our list, and so um, our possible wall horizontal position, and it will be changing. So let's rename it to wall list and door list. Okay, now it's better. So if our wall list contains point. 
then we will add this position to our list add point and we want to remove this from our list wall list remove point and uh, else the wall list add a point so we know that we are passing uh, rooms first and rooms are surrounded by walls and then when we add corridors the corridor will be added at the same position as there is already a wall and it will want to create its own wall and if we know that then we can simply delete, delete the previously residing wall because we know that here is a corridor and it's touching the room right now so we want to delete those walls to create doors and that's why we add to doors list so if we want to instantiate some new game object in those places we can certainly do that using this door list okay so let's let's slide up a bit and create a new four and again row and we got, want to go through the top so let's here create int the top right corner dot x and let's go back to zero we don't want zero we want to int and our top left v dot x and, uh, and then we are going to go up until top right corner uh, right top right corner dot x and here we'll call the var wall position equals new vector 3 int vector 3 row 0 top right v dot z and we again call the same add wall to list add wall position to list we pass wall position possible wall horizontal position and possible door horizontal position great below we will create another for statement and this one this now uh, this time we will uh, iterate through columns and first will be int bottom left v dot z column uh, less than int and uh, top left v dot z and here again we will create var wall position equals new vector 3 and we will pass bottom left v dot x 0 as y and column as z and again we will call add wall position to list but now we will pass the vertical positions and vertical positions uh, in the door list as well okay and let's copy this for loop and uh, change in call int bottom left we change it to bottom right v dot z and column less than int top right v okay and we again call wall, wall uh, position equals new vector 3 and here we want to call bottom bottom right v dot x 0 and column and we again add wall position to wall position vertical and door position uh, possible door vertical positions okay so we have added all the walls to our lists now we need to create the walls so let's slide up and after we call the create mesh we will call create walls and we will want to create a wall parent oh no we have wall parent sorry so we don't need to pass it here so let's delete this okay and let's pass it wall parent here let's create this method generate okay and here instead of throw we want for each yes var wall position in possible 
wall horizontal positions and we call create wall and here we will pass wall parent wall position and wall horizontal as the game object so let's create this method generate method okay because no we don't want walls we want wall a singular form okay now we can generate method okay and here we will simply instantiate we need to change wall horizontal to wall prefab we want to instantiate our wall prefab at wall position paternion dot identity as the prefabs are already rotated and we want wall parent dot transform as its parent okay and let's get back to create walls and we need another for each statement var wall position in our possible vertical positions and we call create wall wall parent wall position and wall vertical as its prefab okay so now we are calling this create walls after we loop through each mesh so we should have all the data so let's save it let's go back to unity okay and i see we don't have our game object so let's get back to the script and i need to add public to our game objects okay back to unity and in prefab section we should have wall vertical uh, wall horizontal and wall vertical okay and let's check out if it works and you can see that now we have our dungeon surrounded with walls okay and i see we have some bug here that the road goes straight through the room so i need to check the code if we didn't make any mistakes okay and if you go to corridor node we would need to go to process room in relation right or left slide down a little bit when we find the possible neighbors in right structure list and here after uh, calling the uh, check for the get valid y for neighbors left or right and before we call tool list we will call order by and uh, we will order by child i need to uh, dot we need to call dot before we call order by such as child dot bottom okay we need to call child such as child dot bottom right area corner dot x so we want to order by axis here and this should improve our quality of the generated content okay so let's create a, this mini uh, editor extension just so we can have a faster access to creating this uh, so let's call, uh, create an editor folder and in the editor let's create a dungeon creator editor and let's open it up and here we simply call uh, we need to be using unity editor we need to extend our editor instead of mono behavior we need to call custom editor type of dungeon creator and in here we want to override on inspect GUI call base on inspect GUI and call dungeon creator dungeon creator equals cast to dungeon creator target okay and if 
our GUI. So we create simple button, GUI layout, layout dot button. button create new dungeon we will call dungeon creator dot create and we i think we need to expose it dungeon creator it is private we need to expose it to be public create dungeon okay but that's not all because we need to delete previously created dungeon. So let's go back to dungeon creator and let's create a method down below. We'll call it a private void destroy all children. And it will simply go through all the children of our game object and destroy it. So while transform dot children count is different than zero we call for each and transform item in transform we call destroy immediately item dot game object okay and we need to call this method at the uh, call when we create our dungeon so let's destroy all children okay let's go back to our editor and now we should have a nice button and it should create for us new dungeon each time okay and we didn't destroy everything why is that and we need to go back to script and here in the dungeon creator in the create mesh script we have forgotten to call dungeon floor dot transform dot parent equals transform okay let's go back to the editor and let's try it out again and now it seems to be working okay so it seems there is no bug uh, of uh, crossing the room uh, of, by the corridor it seems to be working quite well i mean you can for certain improve the algorithm i'm sure you can figure something even better with this setup so thank you for watching good job sticking till the end if you have enjoyed this content Please like those videos, please subscribe to my channel and please support me on Patreon so I can provide you with more content of such type. Thanks again and goodbye.